Hey, New Hope. This is Pastor Brian. Hope you're doing well. Just wanted to bring you a word of encouragement today. Um, I want to tell you a story. When I was a young boy, my dad and I used to go fishing quite a bit, um, especially up at Big Creek. It was somewhat close to our house, so we'd get out our 10-foot little tiny uh, fishing boat. It had just this small Evan Rude outboard motor, and uh, my dad and I would go out there and spend several hours just fishing. Um, just he and I, uh, and the finger food that our mom or my mom uh, sent us, uh, which my dad and I honestly never understood why the reason behind it, because we were handling fish and live bait all the time. Why have like chips and sandwiches and stuff like that? So our go-to snack was a Snickers and a, a bottle or a can of Pepsi. That was just kind of our go-to thing. Anyways, uh, there was one of these days when I was a young boy that we were out fishing on the boat at Big Creek and I lost interest in fishing. They must have not been biting or I was just, you know, not interested. But regardless, um, I started to mess around with the anchor on our boat. So my dad had given me this responsibility when I was old enough to be able to, when we got to the place for fishing, I would drop the anchor in and when it was time to leave, I would pull the anchor back up. So this day that I had lost interest, I went to the front of the boat and started to mess around with the anchor. I'd pull it up as, uh, all the way out of the boat and there would be a ton of mud on the anchor, which I thought was fascinating. I'd drop it back down all the way to the bottom and pull it back up. Repeated this process several times. Uh, my dad must have been a very patient man because he allowed me to do that while he was still trying to fish and I'm creating all this noise and scaring off all the fish. Um, but it was interesting to me that the, when the anchor was pulled up, the boat began to drift. And then when the anchor was firmly down at the bottom of the, of the lake, that the boat stayed in the same place and stayed uh, secure. Uh, if you think about an anchor, it is steady, it's uh, firm, it's dependable. Um, when the, the anchor is put in, the boat stays in, in its place. It keeps the boat from drifting. No matter what is taking place above the water, the elements that's taking place above the water, the anchor is still there. It remains in place. Hebrews 6.19 says that we have this hope as an anchor for our soul. We have this hope as an anchor for our soul. That hope is Jesus. That hope is, is that one day we'll be reunited with Jesus. And, and that's where our hope is at. And if there's ever a time that we need Jesus, it's right now. If there's ever a time that we need an anchor for our soul, it's now and it's Jesus. Notice something, that word anchor, it's singular. It's not plural. So it, it's not saying Jesus and, and you fill in the blank. It's simply Jesus. And uh, there's a lot of uh, things in our world that that people can put their, their hope in and they can put their, their trust in to, to bring peace um, as an anchor. Maybe it's their house, maybe it's their job, uh, another person, maybe it's themselves, um, their money in their bank account, whatever it may be. Um, they try to place that and make that their anchor. Um, Jesus said in John 16, 33, so he's talking to his disciples and he's preparing them for what is about to take place, um, that he's about to be arrested, crucified, and um, will, will raise again. He's preparing them and he says this in John 16, 33. He says, I've told you these things so that in me you will have peace. He says, in this world you're gonna have trouble, but take heart. In other words, cheer up. He says, I've overcome the world. Uh, and when I read that last week, it, it stood out to me thinking, man, so many times we place our peace in things in this world. And n now more than ever before, when everything's been taken away, when businesses have been shut down, when, when income has uh, slowed down for so many people, um, that peace isn't there anymore. Um, but Jesus says, in me, you'll have peace. And I really want to encourage you today to, uh, to do that, to put your peace in in Jesus, he is that peace. Um, if our hope in riding out this storm of life is in our own ability, if our hope in riding out this storm of life is in somebody else, or what's in our bank account, or our house, our job, 
you fill in the blank. If that's our hope, then our confidence is misplaced. Um, it's easy, I'll admit, it's easy to focus on what is seen rather than what is unseen. And I really wanna encourage you today to be remember this, that the, the anchor is there no matter what is happening above the water. Jesus is there, he's faithful. He has always been there for us and he always will be there for us. And that's a promise that he has given us. So Jesus, he anchors our soul like no thing and no person can. Jesus anchors our soul so that we don't lose hope in God. So today, make Jesus that anchor. Cling to him. No matter what you're facing, place him as the anchor of your soul. Have confidence in him. Let me pray for you. God, I pray for each person that is watching this video that you would um, bless them right now, that your presence would fill their home, their car, wherever they're watching this, and that they would be reminded of you and your faithfulness. And God, I pray that um, each and every one of us would place our hope in you, that you would be the anchor for our soul that we need. We know that you are always with us and remind us of that today, that we can place our hope and our trust in you. We love you, Jesus. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a great week, New Hope.